after fighting to keep them secret for years, the taxes of former U.S. President Donald Trump have finally been released. Trump was prepared for it, putting out a statement on Friday claiming that he legally used the tax code system to create jobs in construction at his properties. Although these tax returns contain relatively little information and not information that almost anybody would understand, they're extremely complex. The radical Democrats' behavior is a shame upon the U.S. Congress. The tax returns show that while president, Trump had bank accounts in several foreign countries, including the U.K., India, and China. Those are among the details raising questions about potential conflicts of interest while Trump was president. Who exactly did Donald Trump owe money to? Who did he do business with in other countries? That they should not have entanglements with foreign actors that could potentially be hostile to the United States. The returns also show that Trump incurred big financial losses and that he used those losses through tax loopholes to pay little or no taxes between 2015 and 2020. He also steadily donated less to charity each year and did not donate his presidential salary in 2020, a promise he had kept in his first three years as president. The New York State Attorney General's Office, which is investigating Trump for possible fraud in his business dealings, is likely taking a close look at what Trump claimed as charitable donations and whether those were valid. U.S. presidential candidates dating back to 1975 have released their tax returns to the public, but Trump refused. Never before in modern history or even in our earlier history of this country has a former president hid from the American public about himself, his finances so greatly. And it really begs the question is what exactly was there to hide? Democrats said they wanted Trump's tax returns to figure out why the Internal Revenue Service did not audit his taxes once he became president, as is required. Republicans say once they take control of the U.S. House of Representatives next week, they'll be open to investigating President Joe Biden and his family for their financial dealings. Andy Rosen, TRT World, Washington.